the omnichannel inside of the chatbot platform is a fantastic way to add multiple channels towards one chatbot to manage all of those channels at the same time. In order to create an omnichannel chatbot, you can go towards omnichannel. From here, press the button set up omnichannel. You can give the channel or the bot a name. So let's say demo in this case. From here, you can give either or create a new bot entirely or convert an existing bot from a previous chatbot that you built on, for example, Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp. Let's create a new bot for now. Let's go with a blank template. Give the chatbot a name. Let's call it demo as well. You can also give it a description to add a little bit more details if you like to. But for now, let's create a bot. We, say, we can say open the flow but it will do so automatically as well after a few seconds. And then we have the Omnichannel created. The next step is to add existing channels towards the Omnichannel. Now that we created our Omnichannel chatbot, we can also add channels to it. We can do so by going back towards the Omnichannel from the dashboard overview and then say a link. If you already connected any of the pages towards any of the channels, then you can just go easily press link and then select one of the available Facebook pages. Let's say we're going to go with this one. We need to confirm it by pressing link or typing link with all capital letters. Just be aware if you want to link the channel, it will also remove the bot users if you have any on an existing chatbot. Press yes to confirm. And now you've added Facebook towards your omnichannel bot. The same can be done for all the supported channels like Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp Cloud, regular WhatsApp, WeChat, Line, Fiber, and VK. Those are the supported channels. If we go, for example, with Telegram, you can just press link, press yes to confirm, and then we will have two channels on top of the web chat that will be managed from a single omnichannel chatbot. The next step is to create an omnichannel flow. So let's take a look. Once inside the omnichannel itself, you can go towards flows and create a new subflow. Let's call this omnichannel. Press create. Then from here, there are a few ways to go to create an omnichannel chatbot. First of all, you can go with a condition to check which channel the user is interacting from. So for example, add a condition check the channel, you can just type it. You can go with channel or system field channel, but this one will allow you to select any of the available channels, as you can see. If we say Facebook, we can add another condition group. From here, just add the same condition again and select a different channel like Instagram. This way you can build different kinds of automations for different kinds of channels based on the features that are provided. But how can you determine which feature is supported by which channel? We made that really, really easy by going towards any kind of node, go towards, for example, text, and you will see all the channels that are supported for this specific section. If we take a look at quick replies, you can see that only four channels are supported. All the others do not have this option to add, for example, quick replies or dynamic replies. If you go with any other action, it's exactly the same. It will show you directly which ones are available for that specific note. This is the way how you can build an omnichannel chatbot.